refreshing beverage for you. Use it, yeah, dump it on you, put it down. <laughs> you were able to conquer the 36 car tonight, keep it out front for all 25 laps. Even brought a, a backup car, Nicholas, with a top five as well tonight. Uh, what about that move where you took the line away going into one and two that told you you could pull that off? Well, you know, you just, you never know. You just try to be in the fast part of the racetrack and it just felt like, you know, that I was, I was up a little bit on the racetrack at the beginning and it felt good. But when I did move down, I felt the right rear really catch and I'm like, well, this is probably where you need to be. I don't need to be way out. It was, it was nice to drift it out on the straightaways. There was some moisture out there, but when it got to the corner, you need to carry speed in, but you also needed to be down a little bit further than what I was. It's just, you know, you race here uh, for the whole year and it, you, you just try to find that sweet spot. But it's always nice to start out front because these cars are so close that when you have to try to pass the fast guys or the guys that win all the time, man, it's super tough. I mean, your car has to, not only do you have, do you have to be better but you have to find room to get by and sometimes i mean it's just it doesn't matter where you're at lucas oil world outlaws it's really tough to pass i mean and and paul's good i mean that just and uh Dwayne isn't here tonight but he's tough i mean it's it's a dog fight every week and people don't realize that what you're watching here is as good as anywhere in the country. And I think coming up in two weeks, we have a good home core base of drivers here in our Ciroc contract and super late model division. And I'm billing it as the Ciroc contract and super late models of Hummingbird versus the ULMS for the great decision night in two weeks coming up September 16th. Do you have anything for them? Oh yeah, there's, there's no doubt. I mean, there's no doubt. I mean, we'll qualify that night, so that'll that'll fix a few things as far as where you start in those heat races. It won't be a fill draw situation, and I, we can all qualify. We can all run those. We can run those same laps, those low 14s, high 13s, all night long. We can stay out here and just keep running them. And those guys will have to hit on one. So I expect you know our local cars to be up front in those heat races and then once we get qualified they're going to run into the same thing when it's feature time and we bolt the tires on these cars it's not going to matter they're fast and yeah that, that's just it's going to be it, it should be our night it should be a night to be celebrated by the three or four or five six cars here and everybody else is finished behind us what do you guys thanks for the effort well first and foremost I, uh Buck Mars is my partner in this. He owns that car over there. Uh, he doesn't get here very much, but uh, he uh, they assembled this motor over the last few weeks, and it was spot on. It ran great all night. I mean, I, I cannot say enough about it. it. had great horsepower. It wasn't too much. It wasn't too little. It was just right. And, you know, Nicholas does a great job in that car. But uh, uh, Chuck Frank Racing, he flies all the parts, does all the shocks, does everything like that to make it go fast. Uh, Rumsbanger's Cornhole Club, Douglas Construction, Oki's Automotive, Safety Action Photography, Briggs Transport, and uh, Cello Racewear. And other than that, you know, just the normal people. I mean, everybody here for coming out each week, all year long, and uh, cheering us on. That's what makes it go. And of course, Peach and the staff, yourself, they make us feel welcome every week. So we're just happy to come down and it's awesome to finish the victory lane. Hummingbird Speedway, put your hands together for Doggett. Congratulations.